Sugar, of course, because you know, coffee. Mm. No, Joaquin! <laughs> and so disaster was avoided. Oh! Well, you can't drink coffee, you little guy. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Yum, 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 yum. How is it? How is it? Let me guess. I'm gonna try to guess what it tastes like. Okay. Is it like a churro, but not really with the with the powder? No. 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 Is it like a, like a donut, like very doughy, but like fluffy and a sugar? It's pretty much a funnel cake. Ah. Yeah. That's what I. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought I was looking for. Exactly what it is. A funnel cake, but it's a square. <laughs> I'm making a mess. My face is gonna be a mess. Here. You wore white purposely because I did. Where was it that we had them? The San Antis or whatever? Yeah, I don't even remember because this one just towers all the others. Really? And this one is really good. Mm. How about your chicken? Oh man. Well. Oh my god, I don't know where to start. <laughs> well, this is where I'm to start with getting my, my tools of the trade. I'm gonna get. Avocado. I don't know if there's a right way to eat it or not, but this is how I'm gonna eat it. Do this guy right here. Do a little bit. Of, this is called cayenne butter. I don't know if it's supposed to be spicy or not. Do a little bit of this. Oh. It doesn't fall from my fork. Push it in a little bit. Now do a little dippity dip. I'm gonna dippity do. Do Wow. Really? Wow. Can wait to have my own. <laughs> a little piece of avocado while you're at it. You're good. Let me set your plate out, but let me get you a little avocado. Switch it up so you can taste it. Okay, let me try it. Go for it. I'm gonna do the same thing with that. I'm gonna dunk. I'm gonna yeah. pour on top. I'm gonna dunk. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget to put the little butter. I'm not gonna put the butter. Okay. Yeah. Take with the avocado too. 
right? I wish it was spicy. Put the put the little butter. Yeah, it's delicious. It's delicious. Yeah, it doesn't taste frozen. Yeah, this is a turn off when it comes to chicken and waffles. Yeah, when they come out with like chicken tenders. Yeah, go ahead. Give it another shot. Try with the little mantequilla. You want to try with the mantequilla? All right, I'm gonna try with a little bit of butter. All right. Just to please you. Just a little bit. You don't have to put a lot. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Take the avocado with it. Mm. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. I tell you, I tell you. That's where we put our little music. Alright guys, so we came to the French market yeah, just we did. to walk around. We had a yummy fulfilling breakfast. Yes. Delish. My hand. I had the same thing I ate yesterday, but it was in a different restaurant. <laughs> and apparently, it was the same restaurant. It, 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 but <laughs> apparently, it's. I mean, I saw it on Google Maps. One said toast, the other one said French toast. I figured it would be different. <laughs> it was, and here's it my. Uh, delicious, but... uh, this is over here. Yeah, it's a uh, cheese and wine bistro. Oh, nice! You've never told me how to cook. Uh, uh, some secrets. A little bit. Some, some secrets, secrets in this marriage. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're gonna explore. It looks very nice. All of the little uh, shops nice. look like yeah. a small business. So, and those are explore. those are the best to support. Yeah. So these are my weaknesses. I just want to buy everything for my baby. Look at this cute little thing, and. How about this one? Or this one? Well, that one. No one. This one. No. Maybe we can find something somewhere. Else. That doesn't know. I don't. I don't like it. Sorry. <laughs> Probably because they had the football team there. And... Yeah, the Saints. I mean, you are in their town, right? That doesn't mean I'm not going to stay true to my Giants. All hail the New York Giants! <laughs>
everybody. Um, it's a rainy day today in New Orleans. Hi. Hi. And uh, we're gonna go visit the World War II Museum, the National World War II Museum. It's pretty interesting. Also today we are going to, well, clearly you see, well, since by the time you guys see this video, the Giants won the Super Bowl. Just please do not laugh. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and, you, you know. Even it. I do. <laughs> I do. So, we're gonna go watch the game when they beat the Cowboys. They're gonna beat them by two touchdowns. At least. But yeah, we're gonna go to the World War II Museum. We're gonna go educate ourselves, see some fun, you know, learn some stuff that, uh, you know, from the people who put the blueprints for my military career. So, stick along and you'll see what happens. But first, some coffee. So we just got to the World War II Museum and Maciel is just trying to have this baby relax because he's not trying to relax at all. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna go ahead and show these tickets and then uh, we're gonna go explore. They didn't like, give us a book, I paid for the book. Let me ask for the book. You got the book? No. Excuse me, sir. Can I have a, a book, please? <laughs> Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. He didn't give me the book. That was weird. Hmm. Anyway, we also purchased the historical book. I hope that doesn't get mailed to us because I thought it was going to be given to us here. But I guess we'll figure that out later. Um, I guess maybe we have to show the receipt to somebody because we did buy the book. And I don't think the book is this tiny, but we'll see what happens. This is his wife who had to come live with us okay. because they couldn't make ends meet on that. Yeah. Means as I've grown older, I'm very convinced they're a work of art. I mean, look at this. They are. Who, who could do that? Body in my family had a ration book, and when my mother. Wow. Went, you know, and what is a ration book? A ration book is for food. This Goods, this coffee, way. sugar, dairy products. You had to have a stamp. Okay. It came out once a month. Everybody in my family got one. Okay. So they had victory gardens at the time, and everybody planted victory gardens. And I mean, every, almost everybody. Like if you found a, yeah. a, a big vacant lot, everybody going together and, and plant things. And, yeah. And grow our own vegetables. Wow. We weren't very good at it. Babes, look. <laughs> but my grandfather was. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, you're welcome. I had a great time. Is that a giggity? That is a giggity. Oh, now where do I dip it in something? Or is it straight? No, you have to eat it. Okay, and it's too much work for the tape. It's pretty good. It's definitely not like lobster or crab. It's a different taste. It tastes like you can tell that it is not lobster and that it's not crab. Um, but it's pretty good. Hi. Ah, hi, Huaca. So we're going to our second gumbo place in New Orleans or New Orleans. New Orleans? New Orleans? Yeah, New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans! My friend told me that some people say New Orleans. I don't even know. But we're gonna go to our second spot. This was highly recommended from an old friend of mine. So cool. we'll see how it goes. What do you think, love? I cannot wait to try it. Let's see. So I got the okra seafood 
gumbo. I'm gonna taste. It's really good. Describe the taste, describe the taste. It's like, you can taste the seafood, but also the earthiness of the other ingredients. I guess the sausage, the beans with the rice. And like there is an after an aftertaste of like the seafood. Nice. Very nice. Good. Don't forget to take out the shrimp. I don't even see any shrimp here. I just see a big crab leg. Oof. Mm -hmm. Oof. Show that crab leg. Nice. So I haven't touched it yet. This is the jambalaya. Here we go. Let's pull a little bit of here. It looks delicious. It smells great. The rice is so spongy, so soft. You could taste all the Creole flavors in it. Fucking <laughs> like it too. <laughs> I recommend. Really good. We just had some of that gumbo. I thought, well, I didn't have the gumbo, I'm not gonna lie. I had uh, it. She had it. What did you think, my love? I'm a little disappointed. I mean, it was good, but for New, or New Orleans. No. Yeah. I was expecting a lot more. Yeah. And the place was called the Gumbo Shop. But there was only one gumbo. Right, like, let's say, like, you know when you go to a Cheesecake Factory? It has, like, a 50 million cheesecakes? Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't like that. I mean, and I it had... was okay. It tasted like funny, but... I don't know. I think my expectation was all the way clear. And I like more the one that we had yesterday, actually. Nice. I had the jambalaya, or the jambalaya. I don't know how they call it. One large jambalaya, please. I thought it was pretty good and um, to be honest I'm not gonna go back there because I have to try other places but the prices were good so the prices were fantastic what do you think Joaquin? so yeah it was a uh, it's an experience I guess it's uh, one of those things that you have to do like when you go to Philly you have to go to Gino's and Pat's I guess we had to do that one yeah I mean good service cozy place um, I don't know if we order the best plate. I don't know if I would dismiss it, but I don't know. I mean, the guy behind us had the red fish and he was delighted with that. Yeah. So I saw his plate. How, how did it look? <laughs> I mean, it looked, it looked like any other fish, oh, really? but it looked like it had like a potato puree with some um, chives. And I mean, it looked great. It looked good. It looked good, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything about that because I didn't have it. And I'm here for the gumbo. Yeah, well, we had it. We experienced it. I'm glad we did it. Thank yeah. you for bringing me my mom. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Oh my God. Babes, you want some custard? Yeah. Let's try it out. Five minutes later. I look like a pig. Oh my God, babes. What's going on with you? Ooh, spooky dark. Let me turn on the truck. 